what's going on this is jay leno and i'm here to give you guys my brief synopsis of the city of magnus batman issue two so this issue starts off with batman entering the pink palace where he is greeted by the one and only cannibal killer flamingo as you can see this is where the pea poppers the gangsters come to have a good time with of course the women with that wear fairly anything and immediately upon approaching the flamingo flamingo is welcoming batman inside of the pink palace where he immediately gets addressed by wesker wesker is apparently has the pink palace in some sort of a hold like this man is is um is uh, the van he's a ventriloquist slash type of villain type killer and he's he's basically then pissed off all the gangsters inside of the pink palace and they're trying to put they're ready to put wesker in his place and right at that moment the gangsters see that batman's there so they're no longer ready to have any sort of fun whatsoever fires get shot batman does his daily normal duties and kicks these mobsters a to the double s if you get my drift whereas wesker joins in and smashes his uh his puppet um if you're not familiar with wesker wesker is the type of guy that channels in his inner demons through his puppets hence he's the ventriloquist and so upon this approach wesker had joined in and actually had killed in one of the opposing minions or gangsters that were inside of the pink palace which is not of his normal personality or or, or it's just not anything that he normally does so batman is like prior to this issue has been traveling around Gotham and majority of all these villains or prior villains his mindsets aren't really in the right place uh, previously as you've witnessed um, Two-Face has already had an altered ego but it's almost as if he's got another entity spiritually speaking with him as well and um, he's having a, a, a dreamlike state of meditation where he's reflecting upon to win the uh the the poison or toxin that was released to him while he was in court turning him into two-face himself so right now we don't have an answer as to why <clears throat> sorry we don't have an answer as to why two-face is kind of off of his rocker but really everybody in gotham is and it's not really making sense to batman as he's been traveling through gotham um if you don't pr uh, uh prior to to have any knowledge of the past issue i just want to let you know that there is another batman inside of gotham um you can particularly point out the difference between the two with the tentacles nearing his face this batman had previously picked up this estranged young black man uh a kid male and he's uh his, he's basically attempting to transition him into a robin all right going back to the original batman we've got batman is um he gets called upon by talon from the uh league of owls and talon brings them into their headquarters to basically explain to batman that <clears throat> there's a breach in this portal and we need to talk so batman and talon are about to well the league of owls and talent are about to explain to batman what the hell is going on in gotham and right at that time while this is going on alfred's sitting at bruce's house and nightwing flies through the window who had previously got into an altercation with clayface and i mean uh, nightwing has went up against clayface in the past but this particular time clayface is a bit different he says he's more strange than of the norm he wasn't able to 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 hold on to his mind is what he's normally been accustomed to and so dick grayson when he was uh, uh thrown into alfred's presence uh dick grayson aka nightwings was, was explaining it to alfred and like right now they're just like really looking at the board um, I'm, I'm just taking a glance at the city at itself and just noticing that, okay, there's a lot of 
estranged instances that are going on in Gotham right now. And they really need to keen in and figure out what's going on. But I mean, they just all of them are not at the same place at the same time to really gather intel. Um, the prior preparation that these uh, Gotham heroes normally have, they can't really have them without the main guy around, which is who? Bruce freaking Wayne. So Bruce Wayne is with Talon in the in the um, in the uh, League of Owls, if that's what it's called. And so the League of Owls are basically explaining to Batman is that um, this portal Okay, so hold on, let me go back before I go into that. So, um, Alfred, oh, Alfred is basically learning that if you if you are familiar with the Middle Earth theory, which is like an interchange, this this scientific theory um, is the concept of you know an Earth within an Earth, like an upside down Earth within itself. So often explained. Uh, uh, the concept is through the pyramid whereas some people believe it's a triangle but in all actuality it's a diamond okay I'm not going to go too far deep but that's far in depth how this storyline is and what they're trying to introduce to us is is this Batman that we did not know of is a Batman from the other earth okay and this Batman is the alternate version of Batman but it's but like completely opposite and so there with this portal and apparently what was given knowledge to us is is that there was some sort of a quake and this quake might be just the emergence of this batman from the mm-hmm. other earth approaching this gotham whereas the um under gotham or the bottom gotham as they're referring to in this comic batman is like a boogeyman more of a villain and gotham itself isn't uh, uh, in as much peril of, of drama and, 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 and crime and evil as the uh, upper Gotham is that we're accustomed to with Batman. So long story short, this Batman is really having a good time and the bottom Batman, okay, I'm sorry if I'm silent and confusing, the bottom Batman is enjoying this Gotham because of how much evil it is. And right now, so with that being apparent in the storyline, so it's starting to make sense that we, with with the emergence of these two Middle Earths, that we are getting both sides of each mm-hmm. villain in all of these storylines. So Two Face has got the entity of both the bottom and the, the he has the bottom Two Faces uh, personality within himself spiritually, and with the tentacles with the bottom Batman, I believe that that entity can grab a hold of almost uh, almost like a uh, like a, like a spiritual entity between these two between these two realms and this is what is the the estranged uh, 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 um, tone of how Gotham has changed and why Dick Grayson and Alfred and the current upper Batman um, this is this is a result of of this and with all of these feelings so whew, with all of this knowledge coming all at once um, so bad so basically Alfred and Nightwing have came to this conclusion and now Batman has just been introduced and told this and they're both in different places so they're both kind of finally figuring out the entire plot of what's going on in Gotham right now and so the League of Owls and have came to the conclusion that Batman and Talon is about to go into the bottom Gotham and to be sent on a mission just to try and clear things up and figure out what's going on and to get intel. And the League of Owls seems like they have their own initiative themselves with sending Batman in there as if like if things fail, then we're gonna shut this portal down and Batman might be trapped inside of it as well. So we're kinda, right now we're at a mystery as to what's to happen to Batman when he finally enters into the bottom Gotham because if everything's supposed to be opposite of what's going on in the Gotham that we're used to in Upper Gotham, then he would enter this realm and what, the villains that he's known to be accustomed to, I guess they wouldn't be villains because Batman is the villain in his, in this bottom Gotham. So we don't even know what's gonna happen from here. So 
much to come. Please enjoy this read. Um, really appreciate this illustration. I like how colorful it, colorful it is, and um, and, and kind of how it, it the uh, the painting and shading really expresses the tone of Gotham City itself. This is probably one of my favorite comics. It might be top five right now. I have it at number one, but it might just be the hype because it's been several months for this issue to even come out. Um, please let me know what you guys think about this. Um, be sure to hit that like button for me. Um, give me any critiques. Um, this is a magazine sized um, comic. This is Batman City of Madness issue two. I appreciate you guys for listening to me. And um, yeah, be sure to subscribe and share to someone else who's a Batman fan. Thanks.